Okay, I am going to walk you through what it's going to look like when you first sign in to Google Classroom on your Classroom iPads. And then I will show you what it'll look like the second time you go into Google Classroom on your Classroom iPads. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click and open up Google Classroom. Now it will have this message on it. You want to make sure to click off the little check because you don't want to get any emails and then you're going to go ahead and get started. It is going to ask you to sign in. Now you won't have all these students names. You will just go ahead and use another account. So click on that and I'm going to use Cadence as an example. I'm going to type in my email that's on your little slip of paper. Let's see. And you want to make sure that you're typing it slowly and carefully to make sure that everything is a correct. There are no spaces in between anything. You want to make sure to have a period where there's periods on your paper. And then the k12.mn.us. Double check it. Make sure everything is correct and then go ahead and click next. And then go ahead and enter your password. And then click next. And then this message will again pop up. And because we've already signed into your class, you should see this. You want to go ahead and click Don't Allow, and you will see your class listed there. To get into your paper, you're going to click on your class. The stream will pop up. You'll either have an animal research report or a wax museum report. You click on that. Go ahead and click on it again. And then remember, you need to click up here to open it up to where you'll do the actual typing. And Google Docs will open up. And then you can click on the pencil, and you can start typing your report. So that is how you will get in the very first time you go into Google Classroom. And then when you're all finished, it will save it automatically. So all you need to do is double click twice and swipe up the app. The second time you go into Google Classroom in your Classroom iPad, it's going to be a little bit easier, but there are still some things you need to pay attention to. You will open up your app. If it is not showing your class, what you need to do is click on the menu bar, click on the little triangle, and find your email address listed here below. And then you click on your name, and then it should show your class and your name down at the bottom. So it'll be a lot easier to get in the second time you go into your app. And then the same thing, you go ahead and click on it and open it up. Remember to click on the square with the arrow to get into Google Docs. Make sure it says your name down here so that way you know it's your report. Click on the pencil and you can start typing. And then when you're finished, just remember to click the home button twice and swipe up. Now one reminder, when you are working, you never want to click on the turn in button ever because that will make it a lot harder for your teacher to work on it and for you to teach on it, work on it. So just click here and leave it like it is after you're done typing. Don't turn it into your teacher. 
And again, a reminder, you just need to click on the menu bar. If you don't see your name, click on the triangle and find your email address here and click on it there. And then you should see your class and be ready to go.